Welcome to lesson four, step one. Ratio affects your composition. A photo's aspect ratio is a fundamental basic part of photography. But with all the other things we have to worry about, like resolution, composition, depth of field, it's normal that we don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. But we should, because a photo's ratio can have an enormous impact on its quality. And that's because it directly affects the photo's composition. Speaking technically, a photo's aspect ratio explains the relationship between a photo's width and its height. The first number in the aspect ratio is always the photo's width, and the second number is always its height. So looking at these photos here behind me, these are 60 by 90. So they are an aspect ratio of two to three. And I know that because if I were to divide the 60 in half and 30 centimeters and 30 centimeters, well, that would fit three times in the height and twice in the width. So it's a two to three aspect ratio. These photos were shot vertically with the camera using a two to three aspect ratio. And that's why they look so good. Because photographer Albert Dross, who's the one who shot them, he composed them specifically using that aspect ratio. But it's not always easy to fit the height of a two to three aspect ratio when you're composing photos because they're so tall, which is why they're often hung horizontally with a three to two ratio. So if you were to turn it, then the width would be the three and the height would be the two. A quick random fact, the 3-2 ratio is the original photo aspect ratio for the 35 millimeter camera. But now with digital photography, there are way more aspect ratios to choose from. Not only 3-2, but also 4-3, 5-4, 69, and even just 1-1, one, one, the square. With all these choices, it's good to understand how each one can affect your photo's composition and thus its quality. Every photo is shot with a specific aspect ratio, but it's pretty easy to edit a photo to a different ratio. We'll get into the specifics of how to do that in step three, but before we get to the technical part, I wanna talk about how that type of change affects the photo. You can think of changing between aspect ratios like cropping your photos to a new size. But if you're not careful, a new ratio can really change the photo's composition and not always positively. For example, if you have nice leading lines in the photo, but because of the crop, you miss the end or the beginning of the lines, the photo just isn't as interesting. It won't hold the viewer's attention as long and you basically lower the quality of your photo. So let's look at an example photo together. This photo was taken by Martin Hochebaum in the United States with a 3-2 ratio. Here, I've given it a 1-1 ratio so we can look at the difference. If we set them next to each other, you can really see the difference. The leading lines are gone and you're no longer drawn into the photo, which is unfortunate. Here's another example of a photo's balance being totally altered and not for the better because of a new aspect ratio. This photo was taken by Exposure's co-founder, Clemens van Ols and it's using a three to two aspect ratio. Now let's look at it with a one to one ratio. The difference is subtle, but important. Let's look at another three to ratio. This one was taken in a cafe in Italy by Clemens and try it with the panorama format, like a two one. You do lose some height, but the photo still captures the action and atmosphere that he wanted. Every aspect ratio is different and you can change your photo's composition a little or a lot. When a photo works with several different aspect ratios, it comes down to a matter of personal preference and how a photo with that ratio will look hanging in your home. And remember, a photo's ratio is completely separate from its size. Photos with the same ratio can have very different sizes. This three by two photo behind me is 135 by 90 centimeters, but it could be much smaller and have the same ratio. For example, these photos on the side are also three by two if you turn them, but they would be much smaller. 
So throughout this lesson, keep in mind that ratios we can talk about can be printed in a variety of sizes. The ratio is more about the shape than the size of your photo print. But that's what we'll get into in step two. Different ratios look different on the wall. I'll see you there, and until then, keep feeling awesome.